Hey, this is Chris from Sinti Studios. Today, we're taking a look at a basic rotation script that you can apply to your game objects to bring some life to your scene. In this example, I've applied the script to a water wheel in the Polygon Fantasy Kingdom pack. So let's take a look at how to do it. So to get started, we'll just make a scripts folder. In here, we'll create a new C Sharp script and we'll call that Rotator and we'll open that up. And we don't need the start part here, so we'll get rid of that. Couple of parameters we want to pass to our rotation. So we want a float rotate speed, which will just be the float to control how fast it rotates. And then a vector three rotation direction, which is just a blank vector three that will let us control which direction it will rotate in. Both of these, we'll just set them as a serialized field just so we can control them in the editor. And then in our update function here, we want a transform.rotate. And for this, we want a rotate speed times rotation direction times time dot delta time. If we save this. So back into Unity, we'll find the game object that we want to attach it to. In this case, it's the spinning section of the water wheel. And we'll drag the rotator in onto the game object. And we'll just decide on the speed, so we'll say 5. And if we just look at the rotation of the game object, you can see the X here is going into the minus. So for our rotation direction, if we say minus 1, and if we hit play, now you can see the minus 1 is making it spin in the correct direction. If we were to set that as 1, it would spin backwards. Minus 1 is the way we want to go. And the rotation speed will then let us set how fast we want it to rotate. And then just taking that same script, if we find another game object like the prop windmill, which has the blades, so selecting the blades, dragging that on. And again, if we have a look at the rotation, just to see which way we want it to rotate, you can see the Z is going in the positive direction. So for the Z, if we put 1, and for the speed, if we say 20, then when we hit play, so you can see there we've just repurposed the same script to use on a different game object. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our new videos, or check out our community Discord, the link is in the description.